Hey guys, it's your boy t -Easy, here with the second installment of my Falco combo guide, in which I'll be discussing Falco's down tilt. It's changed a bit since Smash 4. It comes out a little slower, ends a little later, and sends the opponent at a slightly different angle. So you won't be able to do quite the same combos you could do in Smash 4, but you can still get some juicy stuff. Down tilt has three hitboxes, one at the base of Falco's tail, one at the middle of his tail, and one at the tip of his tail. Each of these hitboxes have different purposes and I'll do my best to explain them all. With that, let's get right into it. Hitbox 1 deals the most damage and knockback. Dealing 15.6%, it is easily one of Falco's meatiest combo starters. Land this move and you're sure to do some chunky damage. Down tilt can lead into F tilt, Nair, Fair, Up Air, Up Tilt, Bear, and Dare. At high percents, you can even use this hitbox to kill. At this point, you might be wondering, wow, I can use hitbox 1 for combos and kills? What's the point of the other hitboxes? Well, aside from spacing, Hitbox 2 and 3 are great for getting short hop aerials when Hitbox 1 sends the opponent too far to do so. The timing's a little tight, but it's not too hard to master. Hitbox 3 can also set up for a kill if the opponent dies in. Or a 50 50 if they don't die away. But it doesn't stop there. Down tilt is really good for setting up laser slash shine locks or tech chases on platforms. If you down tilt the opponent onto a low platform, you can get some meaty damage. If you down tilt them onto a high platform, you can set up for a kill confirm. Down tilt is still a great tool in Smash Ultimate. It's a combo starter, kill move, and spacing tool all wrapped in one. Though down tilt's a bit slower than the previous iteration, it's still worth throwing out from time to time. Next time you play Falco, try to land one of these down tilt combos on your friends and watch them get shook. Speaking of shook, I'm shook that I have over 130 subs. I know it's not a huge number, but I'm grateful nonetheless. I always told my friends that if I broke 100 subs, I'd start streaming, so look out for my Twitch in the next video. Thank you guys for your support. Let me know what you guys think of the video and what kind of video you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and a sub to see more content. Until next time, stay fly.